today we will be continuing editing of the next episode. It is another perfect human weather day. Maybe I will try the laptop outside. I tried this a bit last summer and the mouse in the box is not really gonna work, but if I get a mouse pad outside of the box, this uh, actually is somewhat decent. Well, some solid noise canceling headphones are gonna be a must because people are just perpetually mowing their lawns. As much as I don't like it, that's how much other people seem to like it. But this will probably be just like using a standing desk. I'll just do it for a little bit every day so that I get some outdoor time, get some sunshine, feel like I'm actually part of the universe. Well, here's another idea. What if I did this vertically? It's actually way nicer, because then I could put my head inside too. Right now we're at the end of the spring ephemeral. It's a tight squeeze though, so there's no room for accessories. So I'll either need a wireless mouse and wireless headphones or make a little cutout for them. Or get a wider box. You know, it'd be really great if I could put like this CRT mounted in the ceiling in the corner. Remember when they used to have that in school? Mounted CRTs? Oh man, I can't believe how good our eyes were. And we were able to look at a 27 inch CRT from the entire classroom and actually see anything that was going on. A 27 inch CRT is smaller than the monitor that I stick my face in every single day. And now anything less than this, I'm like, this is probably, this is a little too small and I can't see anything. Not that my eyes are bad, it's just, I've gotten spoiled. Yeah, I think that might be a project worth exploring, but I just, do they even make CRT stands like that anymore? Did they ever? Am I imagining this? Or were they always just on the carts? Got some editing to do today. It is going to rain, so we are entirely inside today. Let's get to it. Actually, you know what? Um, it is not raining yet, so let's give this a go. It is nice to be outside, but the difference in brightness between outside and this screen, even with the sun hood, is not very comfortable. I'll give it a few more tries, but I'm really beginning to think that the answer is to just take more frequent breaks and go outside. Okay, and back to work. Uh, okay, pretty productive day. Uh, I gotta go, I'll see you later. Okay, let's get to work. Get to work. But I had a feeling that today was one of those days where once you get the ball rolling, it'll start to feel really good. And I was right. That is a pro exercise tip. If sometimes you don't feel like it, just start really light and see how you feel after you start, because it might be pretty good. Now, up until I was like 30 years old, every single day I was stronger and faster than the last day. And it's such a different mindset when you're like, oh, I'm not even at my max potential yet. Because now I'm like, yo, it's all about maintenance. My max potential has long since passed. Not that I'm that much farther below it, but the mindset is not like, oh, how hard can I push myself? How much farther can I get? Now it's all about how long can I maintain this? which that I actually feel very positive about. And I would say overall, that is a very good place to be. This rough edit though, is taking years to complete, which I think will mean that this will be a very long episode. Yes. Okay, well, get back at it. Let's get back at it. <laughs> So yesterday I was saying that I had peaked when it came to physical fitness. 
I think it's more accurate to say that I have plateaued because a peak applies that you go up, hit the top, and then go back down. But right now I've kind of like hit the top and then I'm just here. And then making that plateau as gradual a descent as possible is my goal. I did lose a step after COVID, but it's also occurred to me that I stopped teaching any Zumba classes. I was teaching once a week. So maybe that has contributed to what I've lost. If I always had the core ingredients for lunch and dinner, I would probably make better food choices. Is that true? No, probably not. Anyways, it's a pizza type of day. This pizza has like honey on it or something. I generally don't want sweetness on pizza unless I know about it in advance. I can totally enjoy some pineapple and ham pizza, no problem. But I just, I was not expecting this to be sweet at all. It was kind of, kind of harsh in my pizza vibe. <laughs> you might be wondering why I have yet to talk about Tears of the Kingdom at all, and it is coming out tomorrow. And the reason is, I enjoyed Breath of the Wild quite a bit. Such a natural progression for what Zelda could become. But there were a couple of things that just really, really disappointed me. And foremost among my disappointments was the music. Somehow, the soundtrack has five discs worth of music. I don't remember hearing five discs worth of music, do you? So for the overworld music, which is usually like my favorite of all of the Zelda tunes in any of the games. Man, Dark World, come on, man. Ba -ba -ba -da -da -ba. Field Day consists of a number of short phrases. After the intro, phrases from group A should be played in random order at random times. That, I cannot tell you how disappointing that is to me. And how many times I heard this. How many times did you hear that? Presumably, they were trying to make it so that you didn't have the same song playing over and over again and getting that stuck in your head. Instead, I got three notes stuck in my head. It's just doo doo doo, boom boom, over and over and over again. I understand their reasoning and I really applaud that they went with a new direction. It just didn't work for me. My next disappointment was a lack of dungeons. The shrines had some interesting puzzles, but there was two huge problems with the shrines for me. One, they were aesthetically the same and they all played that same boring piece of music. Do you remember Skyward Sword's dungeons? For all the problems that game had, just such an incredible variety in the dungeons and interesting music and just like depths to be explored. Finding the shrines was super cool. Like you find like there's a shrine in a little cool area, but then when you go in there, you solve this puzzle, sometimes by accident, you didn't even know if you've solved it correctly or not, but to somehow you like break the physics and it works and you're like, well, that didn't feel satisfying. And then after you finish the main story, my desire to explore that world was zero. Finding the rest of the shrines, finding the Korok seeds, I could not have cared any less, which is not a huge deal. I'm typically only a main story type of person anyway, but it never felt like I really had a grasp on the world. It always felt just slightly too big and it was too difficult to get around without doing teleportation. And like getting your horse to actually come to you was always so difficult, I don't know. But I don't wanna rewrite history. I enjoyed Breath of the Wild a lot. I thought it was a great game. I really enjoyed my time with it. It's just any desire to revisit it or even ranking it in my top 10 Zeldas, it's just, it doesn't rank very high. It's a great game, but it doesn't give me the same feeling that previous Zeldas did. And I think maybe the biggest problem is the music. Just, oh, I need an overworld theme, okay? Just play it at least once every once in a while. Give me three minutes of an actual overworld theme from start to finish. Oh man, but that, when you go to Ganon's castle at the very end of the game, that does have some good music. That's what I wanted, that's what I wanted. Anyways, it seems that some of my complaints have been addressed, so we shall see. I'm definitely gonna be playing it on day one, so uh, I'll have to report in after I've started playing it. But today, this grass is just growing too fast. It's been raining a lot, and I did not cut the grass very short. Today, I'm gonna have to really cut it short, because if I'm going for my goal in eight times in the summer, I'm not going to hit it at this rate. It's hardly been a week since I mowed the lawn. We need to go at least two weeks apart, if not three. Some 
how low are we gonna go? We going to the two? We going to two? We might need to do a three. All right, number two. Let's try two. Nope, not gonna work. Okay, not bad, that might put me back on track, but I've already used three mows for the entire season. Maybe I was wrong, maybe I can't do it. Anyways, let's see how much work I can get done before tomorrow. Enjoy Tears of the Kingdom. It's like once every six years that we get to experience this. It's kind of like a solar eclipse or something. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Today we will be continuing editing. So yesterday I was talking about, <clears throat> so yesterday I was saying that I had peaked when it come to physical. So yesterday I, <clears throat> Hey Siri, play. Hey Siri, play. If you anyway, it looks like some of my complaints have been addressed if,